So, like, I talk about it all the time, where they're not really beginner level, but they're entry level for big board games, you know? I don't know, I haven't played Mists, but the Carcass other Carcassonne expansion, the Princess and the uh, Dragon, is a pretty good mm -hmm. expansion. It's just my opinion. Speaking of staples, there is Rivals for Catan, Age of Darkness. Mm-hmm. Yep, an expansion for, for Rivals. Uh, we have all of Rivals, except for we don't have Rivals Deluxe. It's basically a two-player version. Uh, and then also a Catan expansion, Cities and Knights. Yep, yep. Uh, another another restock. Um, I'm waiting for like a, a good Catan expansion, a new Catan expansion that's good that doesn't require seven other expansions, <laughs> like the Dragon one. I didn't realize that that thing required you to have like four expansions. I was like, that's crazy. Like a casual player that wants to play with dragons and you have Catan and this is kind of cool. You can't. You you need seafarers and you need cities and knights and it's it's kind of nutty. Chess. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'd call this a board game. I mean, it has a board and it's a game. Right. But I'm not sure I would call this a board game. J just like I wouldn't consider poker a card game in our venue. You know what I mean? Obviously, board gamers play chess. There's no doubt about it. Like a lot of board gamers mm -hmm. will, will play a game of chess. But I don't consider it a board game. I really want to get a chess club going here. Everybody says, oh, when are you going to get a chess club going? When are you going to get a chess club going? I'm like, all right, you know, let's set up a group and find out what day. And then nobody signs up for the group and nobody commits to a day. Dixit, it, it is actually a family game staple. I've never actually played it and I never carried it. I didn't start carrying it until about a year and a half ago. And people are like, do you have Dixit? Do you have Dixit? Like, I, no, like that game sounds dumb, but apparently it's really mm -hmm. good. <laughs> it's also a game with like 8,000 expansions. It is, and I, I think that's what, so a lot of people, myself included, if a game has a lot of expansions, it really draws me to it. Like it, it must be good if it survived long enough to have 20 expansions. There are some Dixit puzzles. Yeah, so the artwork of Dixit is pretty cool, and it actually makes for good puzzles. So I basically just bought every Dixit puzzle. Uh, plus, we're, we're rearranging our puzzle section. We took it from the front of the building, put it back where the comic book section used to be, and we're filling up that comic book section with puzzles for now. You know, puzzles and then eventually models and Gundams and all that other stuff that's going to go back there. Plus, whatever Star Wars overflow we have from all the minis games that Star Wars has now. D and D icons of the realm, demon lords. Yeah, so we got we got a couple of these. Uh, it's just I don't remember the names of them either, Juan, and they are kind of hard to. You know, it's like a Y apostrophe, blah, 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 blah. It's like... If you need these, you know their names. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're painted minis, too, so they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Ultra Tiny Epic Kingdoms. So I thought this was an expansion, but it is actually the game even smaller. <laughs> yep. It's Epic Kingdoms. Really, really, really small. Monster Flux. This is weird. So basically, they repackaged Monster Flux. Uh, it used to be in a, a hanging package, and now it's just in a regular Flux box. It's not like I was out of stock of this one. They just put it in a better box, reissued it, and I didn't realize that it came up for pre-order, and I didn't even re read what it was. I already had Monster Flux. So the one that's in the hanging box is only $15, 